Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-46 from RC Developer Engineering Statics 12 Edition. According to this problem, the three concurrent forces acting on the screw I would use a resultant force F R is equal to 0, but F2 is equal to 2 upon 3 times of F1, and F1 is to be 90 degrees from F2. Determine the required magnitude of F3 express in terms of F1 and the angle theta. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to resolve all the forces into their components. So for the force F1, I have one horizontal component. Like this. And one vertical component. And this angle right here is 60 degrees because they both are alternate angles. Now I can write this one as F1 cos 60 degrees and this is F1 sin 60 degrees. Now for the force F2, again I have one vertical component which is acting downwards and one horizontal component like this so we have this is F2 cos 30 degrees and this component right here is F2 sin 30 degrees now for the, for the force F3 I have one Vertical component and one horizontal component. This component right here is F3 cos theta, and this component is F3. Sin theta. Now we have resolved all the forces into their components. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation is sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have F1 cos 60 degrees plus F2 cos 30 degrees minus F3 sin theta equals to 0. Now we know that F2 is equals to 2 upon 3 times of F1. So we can write it as 0 0.5 F1 plus 2 upon 3 times of F1 into cos 30 degrees minus F3 sin theta equals to 0 and further we can write it as 1.0773 F1 minus F3 sin theta equals to 0 and further we can write it as F3 sin theta is equals to 1.0773 F1. This is our equation A. Now we have one more equation for the sum of the forces, which is sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering upward direction as positive so we have F1 sin 60 degrees minus F2 sin 30 degrees and uh, minus F3 cos theta equals to 0 so from here I have 
again f2 is equals to 2 upon 3 times of f1 so i can write the above equation as f1 sin 60 degrees minus 2 upon 3 times of f1 into sin 30 degrees minus f3 cos theta equals to 0. But we can also write it as f3 cos theta is equals to 0 0.533 f1 so this is our equation b this was our equation a now consider both equations and divide equation a by b so we have f3 sin theta over f3 cos theta is equals to 1.0773 f1 over 0 0.533 f1 from here we have cancel cancel f1 and f1 both gets cancelled so sin theta over cos theta can be written as tan theta is equals to 2.0224 so from here theta is equals to 63.7 degrees now this is our first answer now we have to express the force F3 in terms of F1. So we can put this value of theta in either equation A or B. So let's consider equation B. So equation B is this one. From here F3 can also be written as 0 0.533 up 1 over cos theta and now theta is 63.7 degrees so f3 can be written as 1.2 into f1 now this is our second answer And this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.